Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be your um, North and South Nodal Axis Shift reading. So this shift took place on May 5th and it's going to take us all the way into 2022. So our North Node was in Cancer and our South Node in Capricorn, Capricorn since November 2018. And if you guys want to learn more about that, um, I've, I'm going to link a an article that I find to be very clear, enlightening, and informative, easy to read down below, okay? And I'm not affiliated with that article, but just as I was doing a little bit of digging on this energy shift, I thought it would be helpful for additional information. So on May 5th, the North and the South nodes shifted into Gemini and Sagittarius. So what that means is under this polarity, uh, we're moving into the realms of ideas and philosophy and moving away from, you know, those family and the feelings, um, people versus co uh, corporations, which we were experiencing during that Cancer Capricorn um, energy. Um, the South Node is in Sagittarius, so it's releasing past attachments to ideals of religion and also sort of systems of belief. The North Node in Gemini is pulling us towards this idea that everything is welcome. All these new ideas are welcome. Let's hear it. Gemini is sort of this chatty and sometimes gossipy type energy. Um, Gemini is all about the small mind, small movements and details. And Sagittarius is about big picture stuff and reaching beyond our own personal limitations. On a personal level, this nodal axis typically marks a shift on attention and focus, and it really shifts it to learning. So Geminis want to learn a lot of new things, and Sagittarius is searching for the higher truth. This, um, this shift on a personal level suggests that we need to learn to be flexible and to learn to adapt to our changing world. All right, so Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, let's jump into this reading. We're going to invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, and spirit guides to this space to deliver the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Whoops. <laughs> there you are. Right in the middle. That's telling me that you guys are aligned. Mm. I'm not reading reversals in this reading, you guys. Nice. Nice. And you guys come out twice in your own reading. Libra, very good. I'm very happy about this reading, you guys. Very, very happy. Your overall energy is the strength card. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. Some of you might have Leo in your chart. Um, but this is beautiful because this is all about finding your inner strength no matter what's going on. There may be something that sort of tested your resolve and your courage, may have even had your self-esteem a little bit low, but it looks like you're stepping back into that power. Underneath that, you have the Two of Pentacles. This is all about balance. This is about a huge blessing and then figuring out, you know, how you can sort of create the balance and the alignment in your life. It could be making a choice between two people, two things, two ideas. It could also be about choosing yourself, choosing to work on you, Libra. Underneath that, we have the Three of Pentacles. This is about collaboration. For some of you, you could have been feeling a little bit down because somebody you found out that somebody put you in a third-party situation. Now, we don't have to jump automatically to that being a romantic situation. It could be anything. It could be, you know, whatever relationship. It could be with a friend. It could be with a coworker. Um, it could be with a family member. It could be with a romantic partner. And that third party doesn't necessarily have to be 
that they were cheating on you or something along those lines. It could be, you know, family members. It could be, you know, their friends. It could be that they were choosing work over putting time and energy into this relationship. But something that may have been taken away from this relationship or this situation. It could also be that there was a lot of gossip, that it was hard to get along with your coworkers. Okay, but there was some sort of issue with collaboration and Spirit's reminder to you, Libra, is that you are the architect of your reality of your life. Here you are coming out in the reverse although I'm not reading reversals, right, <laughs> is the justice card. So something that you felt was really quite unfair. But what's beautiful about this is that balance coming back, okay? I love it, Libra. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love Libra showing up. You know, and Libra, you guys are also about finding that balance. So seeing, you know, the lion and the lamb, seeing both sides, the shadow and the light, weighing the pros and the cons. So I think this is a very nice message. Um, just looking at these cards, Libra, it's really pretty awesome. So you guys are showing up as the Queen of Swords. This is your energy. This is air energy. And the Queen of Swords is somebody who's been through a lot. She's very cerebral. She leads with her head over her heart. She's a very tough lady. She's someone who isn't going to take much BS. She's going to tell you exactly like it is, not what you want to hear. She's not going to sugarcoat things for you. She also sees the big picture, okay? She sees the big picture. Again, she's been through a lot. She knows what she's talking about. This could be a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be gender, though, but that, that works in the judicial system or works as like a police officer or some something having to do with the law, okay? Because we did also have that... Um, your sign of justice coming out. Um, or it could just be somebody where you're thinking about morals and ethics and you're going to behave, you're going to speak your truth and, you know, and stand in your authenticity, which I absolutely love. Now, you guys have the moon card in your surroundings. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces um, or you just might be dealing with Something that was previously unclear has now come to the surface. You've gained some sort of clarity. Now, immediately when I pulled this card, I thought Scorpio full moon. We just went through the Scorpio full moon. This is all about mysteries, digging deep, you know, getting to the bottom of things. And I see that that brought you really great clarity, especially after some, after being a bit confused and feeling like you were in a you know, a little bit of a nightmarish situation. What's blocking you is the chariot. You might be being blocked by the by a cancer person. Um, the chariot card though is also, I just got that maybe some of you might have a language barrier, something that needs to be translated or interpreted. Um, for others of you, it's distance. It's like not being able to travel. So you feel like this situation could be resolved if you could just see this person. Remember, you can flip the energies in this reading if you want. Um, so it could be that somebody wants to come and see you, but because of these travel restrictions that we're experiencing right now, well, you know, they can't. All right. So somebody's here is being blocked by 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 travel, by movement, or by like interpretation, language interpretation. I'm even getting, I just saw deaf um, American Sign Language. Interesting. Okay, something having to do with speech, something having to do with somehow communicating and like bridging that gap. Some of you might feel like, you know, maybe again, it could be something as simple as your car broke down and you can't get to work. Okay, and this is what's blocking you. But there's something having to do with travel, something having to do with movement and or a cancer person. Now, in the foundation of the situation, and your foundation is temperance, this is that Sagittarius energy. So remember, we are sort of leaving behind that Sag energy, you know, this sort of attachment to um, or this attachment to um, to ideals and systems of beliefs. So you're having these sort of paradigm shifts and how you give and how you receive information. Temperance is the messenger. It's usually in the regular Rider Waite decks is based on the um, archetype of Iris, who is a messenger of the gods. So again, prayer and meditation, communing with source in order to, you know, I feel like you've been doing that a lot. This is also a card of healing and finding balance and moderation, okay? So that's what's driving you, this, these unconscious forces that are driving you. It's also all about alchemy, so it's about blending, and we saw that coming up in your overall energy. How are you gonna blend the sun and the moon, the light and the dark? Okay, how are you going to transmute energy? How are you going to take something negative and make it positive? You have the power to do that, but it's sort of this quest at this moment. In your recent past, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, 
gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous energy. The Ten of Pentacles is, you know, happy family, it's stability, it's wealth, it's abundance, it's boom, hitting the jackpot. Okay, so I really like this. And with your past and coming together with your present as the Empress, some of you guys, you know, you're adding to your family. Okay, for others of you, you know, this is marriage and gaining that stability and then finding that person, you know, calling in the person, that perfect life partner, the person of your dreams. I love what's, you know, I love what's in front of you and what's behind you, um, Libra, because it's all really positive and you're just kind of flanked by like two of these amazing cards in the tarot. What you're thinking about, what's coming from above, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, this is nurturing. This is all about investing. Uh, again, for some of you, this is definite pregnancy. This has to do with pregnancy. Okay, because the Queen of Pentacles, you know, she has that seed, she has this coin, she's going to nurture it, she knows when to plant it, she knows, you know, so some of you are going to be finding out that you are, you know, that you or your partner are with child. Um, again, you might be adding to your family or you just might be making a dream come happen come true. For others of you, it's not a literal pregnancy. It's like the creation of a job or a partnership that's going to be fruitful. It's going to bring you success. It's going to bring you abundance. It's bringing you what you've been asking for. The queen of, pawn, the queen of, I was going to say the queen of pawns. That's weird. The queen of pentacles, <laughs> like, you know, like pond, like a little lake. The queen of pentacles, you know, she is definitely, this is an approving energy. Um, you know, she's this queen of the forest. She's fertility. Um, she's communing with nature. She's balancing. She is not afraid to roll her sleeves up and get her hands dirty. She works with that sort of natural medicines, earth magic, um, you know, it could be that this is, you know, this is your very, you've found your, your ultimate earth mama, okay, or papa or whatever it might be. But the queen of wands is, uh, I, can't, I can't believe I keep saying that, the queen of wands. There's a reason I keep making that mistake because I don't really see any wands energy here. Queen of wands remembers fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. So some of you might feel like you're the queen of wands. Some of you might have to make a decision between two people. But the queen of pentacles here is you know, she's, she's prepared to wait for her abundance. She knows that it's not going to happen overnight. She knows that, you know, it's going to take time and nurturing and planning and taking it step by step. And really, you know, it's like growing a little potted plant or something in your garden, checking on it. Does it need more water, less sunlight, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a really good energy Libra that I think that, you know, that you're, you're thinking about all of these things and in your outcome position, you get the empress. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is your energy, Libra and Taurus energy. This is things coming to fruition. This is everything you touch turns to gold. This is somebody who's just so peaceful. This is somebody who doesn't have to get off her throne. She can attract anything she wants. All she has to do is think about it, smile sweetly, boom, snap her fingers. It's right there. Okay, so it's gorgeous, Libra. Beautiful energy, and it's all about beauty. It's all about Venus which is your energy, okay? So I think you guys are feeling quite comfortable. Uh, remember, we are in Venus in retrograde. I have put those readings out for individual signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So please check those out. Some of you might have somebody returning, okay? Your 10 of pentacles might be coming back ground, you know, and just for a little bit more abundance, right? <laughs> a little bit more beauty, a little more happiness. I can't tell you how good this reading feels right now. Okay, and I hope I hope you can feel that as you guys are listening. All right, emotional loss. Um, I'm getting here. Some of you might have been trying for a child. You may have that pregnancy may have been you might have lost that that child. Some of you just might have been trying and trying and, and you just felt like you would, it was never going to happen or that, you know, that it was over, that it, this wasn't going to happen. And it looks like, you know, there's a miracle coming in here. Okay, so for those of you trying to conceive and especially those of you who had difficulties, for others of you, you might have lost a family member, but you're going to also, you're going to soon find out that you're adding a family member. It could be a pet. It could be a child, okay? It could be many different things. For others of you, you guys have suffered quite a bit, okay? But I really feel like you're clearing that heart space. You're getting a lot of clarity, okay? 
that you do have to move past this chariot and, the, and I kind of don't like this chariot energy here as your block because the chariot is a major opponent so it's not going to be easy for some of you it's going to be he moving past pa moving past previous hurts and disappointments okay and it's and something that might have really taken your self-esteem but you're going to do it it's just, you know, it's a formidable opponent, the chariot. It's also the need to, to be a creative problem solver because in ancient, you know, Rome and whenever we used to use chariots, you couldn't, you can't hit the problem. You can't hit it direct, straight on, right? And like a crab, they move back and forth, cancer energy. You might have to sort of go a roundabout way of solving it or think of some sort of creative solution because chariots had to come up against each other from sides you know they couldn't run hit each other straight on okay so it's it's you i think there's a little bit of creativity perseverance that's going to be needed here because it's a strong block okay but it's definitely doable and then you get the shadow yeah i mean look at this this is this is pretty cool energy because you get the moon card coming out twice Okay, but what I really like about this is we have this temperance card and look at that. Look at how they mirror each other. You and your partner might be mirroring each other, okay, or somebody in this, whoever this, whoever's involved in this situation with you. Um, again, I think you're really finding the balance between the light and the dark and that might even be within. Okay, something again, this emotional loss that you've experienced, you might have found yourself in a dark night of the soul. You might have found yourself just really sort of in these deep, dark depths. And that would make sense with that scorpionic energy we just went through, doing some shadow work, okay? But remember, moving through fear is a beautiful thing because there are always rewards on the other side, okay? And then you get movement, choices, and decisions, the two of pentacles. Again, we saw that coming out in your overall energy. There's a, there are a lot of double confirmations in this reading. Finding balance, you know, and if we look here, the temperance card, it looks like those two of pentacles that we normally see being juggled, okay? Um, so, it, you know, this is all about really what is it, where is your focus going to be? Is it going to be on what you've lost? Okay, is it on the shadow work or is it time to come out and step into the sun? I really do see it being the latter, Okay, stepping into the sun. And shadow work is necessary, right? We can't have ebbs without flows. We can't have highs without lows. We can't have, you know, ups without downs. You know, keep going with the metaphors. And then you get transformation, scorpionic energy. Again, I saw it in the moon card, and I was actually looking at it here on the Empress. It like, doesn't that look like the full moon. Something that was either triggered or something that was made known to you during this Scorpio full moon has been, you know, is going to be very transformative. This shift, okay, this nodal axis shift from Cancer, uh, Cancer Capricorn into Gemini Sagittarius is calling in a huge transformation for you, but it's a very positive one, okay? So I'm going to pull additional cards for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Yeah, so some of you might be calling in somebody from your past. Uh, remember Venus retrograde, but also for you guys are all realizing, you know, that you don't want to experience these past hurts and these past pains. Um, you want somebody that you can grow with, okay, whether this is romantically or whether this is a business partner, or maybe even it's just you and your higher self getting in touch. You don't want to be anchored in negative energy anymore, Libra not having it. Worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah. Again, for some of you, this does have to do with pregnancy, bringing new life into the world. And I can tell you were really worried about it. You're worried about losing it. You're worried about not being able to do it. You're worried about this not coming to fruition. All right. You've, you've suffered at the hands of this situation and it's, it's attacked your self-esteem, but you are this maternal energy you're thinking about it, okay? So again, take it how it resonates. For some of you, it's going to be about bringing new life into this world. And for others of you, it's about your creations and your creative abilities. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pull for you guys uh, from The Secret Language of Light, Transmissions from Your Soul by Denise Jarvie. These are really powerful cards. They're really good too if you wanna do you know, meditations and that sort of thing. Um, they're very special cards. I'm going to read from the book uh, because they're just very clear, concise, beautiful messages. So let's go ahead and see what messages we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What messages do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? You get visualize number 17. Look at that yummy, yummy picture. Look at that. Number 17. All right, Libra, this is your message. Your imagination is a magical superpower that develops the content, look, and feel of your life. You can use your inner vision to maintain or transform anything in your life. Visualization helps us to create a dream life without the perceived boundaries of the manifested world. To take your dreams out into the world, recall your vision of them as you meditate. Let the dream become a feeling that leads to a knowing that is so deeply ingrained it will become an automatic response. Through repetition, this response gains momentum toward the tipping point between vision and manifestation. Now that you are privy to this universal law, relax and enjoy the journey toward your desires. When a desire manifests in your physical life, a new desire will be born, yes, will be born in your imagination and a fresh path will unfold. Fold. Wow. Wow. Look at that. New beginnings. Libra. This is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All right. I'm going to pull two additional messages from the Star Seeds Oracle for my Libras to finish up this reading. Messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Truth. Mm hmm. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Yeah, Libra. And you know, you guys are about truth and justice, and that justice card came out. You are the queen of swords. She's going to speak her truth. She's going to get to the bottom of it. Clarity. Observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of the life. I can't speak today or read. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, you guys. So please, please don't anchor yourself in worry. Remember, worrying doesn't change or help the situation, but you have the power to manifest what it is you need. Visualize it. Start visualizing this energy and you can create that new path through your imagination. Okay. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you for all the love and support that you show this channel. And I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.